What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Day number three in the Bahamas and she's firing one down. You guys check this out. You hear me talk about Seymour maps all the time. Look at this right here. Never fished it before. Didn't know it existed until I got Seymour maps. We're just right out front of Boodle Bay, the hotel we've been staying at for the last three days. Come out here to fish and we are already marking them. Now it's two days after the full moon. Fishing has not been that great. The weather has been terrible. Actually, let me stand up and just show you. So home is that away right there. Right that away from here to about Miami is a massive storm and we've been getting them every day. We were gonna go about 50 miles out of way to Grand Key today, but I woke up and saw the storms and we're not gonna do it. The wind's coming straight this way, but tomorrow it's gonna turn and go that away. So if we do go to Grand tomorrow morning, we're gonna wake up and have to run 109 miles home in rough conditions. So today we just decided to come right out here close to the hotel, play it by ear, see if we can catch a fish. But we do have a surprise. We went spear fishing yesterday. It was Crystal's first time ever in the Bahamas spear fishing, and she did amazing. What do you say we show them some clips? Yes, we should show them some clips for sure. Come get him, he's right here. Go take it to him, but it's not connected to your spear gun now. How far we chased that fish? Yeah. 
We need to get Tristan and all of us get in and go way back up there. All right, we'll get we'll get in the boat and you can take us to him. Did you see the bigger mutton with him? I got a big mutton. can drive right at me like you're going to run me over okay. and I'll get out of your way.
always go to a hole, babe. That's your first big one here. That's a good one. Hold him up. Oh yeah. These things fried whole are so good. You're getting good, babe. I'd rather be out here in this deep water. Ah. Nice one. Good job, boo. Y'all tell me that water wasn't beautiful. That was her first hogfish, her first nice Bahamian hogfish ever with the pole spear. A couple weeks ago she was in the Keys and shot some with a spear gun, but doing it over here in shark infested waters with a pole spear is a whole new ball game. We do go in and clean them and cook them in this video, but today I want to show you just a little bit of what we're doing. The conditions aren't right. I'm going to show you some of the radars and how we're going to make choices that we make today and hopefully she can catch a mutton. Because my last video we caught some big ones, but she wasn't able to. Today our search is for muttons. All it takes sometimes is just a little move. You guys notice the concentration in her eyes. No talking, just reeling. The, barrac the barracudas are horrendous in this area though. What do you think it's gonna be? Gosh, it's a long ways down, huh? Think I'm halfway? Possibly. To tell you where we're at, our hotel is right there. That's how cool this place is. Come on, fishy. What are you? Strawberry grouper. He's, he's little, but he's fierce. Look at that cool little guy. You know where we caught a ton of these at was Puerto Rico. Look how pretty that little fish is. 
fried hole, that thing right there is probably one of the best eating fish to ever swim. Strawberry grouper. So I did a drop there. Now I'm gonna pull up just a little bit different spot and do another drift. There you go. Now pick your rod tip up. Well? Got you a Baccaruda. The Bohemians will be happy. Feisty Baccaruda. One thing about over here, these guys absolutely love Barracuda. We speared a pile of those yesterday too. But I will say, I gotta give a huge shout out to our buddy Evan with Evan Sinkers. He hooks us up with all of our lead. If you guys need any lead or rigs of any kind, he oh, makes careful. them. Because as you can tell, you don't see a weight flopping, do you? We've lost another one, and we've probably lost 50 weights this trip. Bit it off right there. She probably had a really good fish on, the Barracuda bit it, bit her line, and then got hooked in the process. Sucker. So we have been fishing for now about four hours. She hasn't caught a mutton yet. <laughs> I caught one little one. She did catch a big queen snapper. What else did we catch? A couple silky snappers. And we're about to do something that she doesn't even know what we're about to do. Just a little give back. We do still have all the fish that we caught yesterday. We want to show you that. We cleaned the parrotfish, which is the thumbnail to this video. We have a whole bunch of stuff still to show you. But right now I'm going to take a second and do something a little bit different that I haven't done in a video lately. All right, we got our first prospect. I just waved at him. I had to holler real loud to get his attention, but he's coming. Big queen. Oh, he's going to love that barracuda. Oh, yeah. We're about to make your day. You want some fish? <laughs> what have you been out doing today? Yeah? Alright, thank you, thank you. You like fish? Yeah man. I love fish. How are you out there? Right. We just wanted to give back to the community a little bit. Right. You gonna eat them or are you gonna sell them? I'm gonna eat them. Man. Good, that's what I want you to do. What's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel. Let me, my hand's dirty. Don't worry, but I'm a fisherman. <laughs> my name's Lorenzo. This is Crystal. Yeah, Crystal. Good okay, to call, meet you. Yeah, they call me Rob. Rob, man. Well, I'm here, man. Well, I hope you have a good day. Yeah, I'm glad we saw you. All right, thank you, man. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah, be safe, man. Thank you. He's been out working all day. All day, and he's got about six or seven conch to show for, and now he's got a good mess of fish. Now we can take it back to Boodle Bay. Yesterday, we just gotten in from spear fishing all day. It gets good from here on out. You guys, that spear fishing today was as good as it gets, in my opinion. I've shot a lot bigger fish than this. This is where my tip went in, and it ended up in his guts, and I had to cut him all the way open to get it out. But I want to give a huge shout out to Vida, the owner of Boodle Bay Lodge. His wife's in there cooking. She's the chef and the owner of this restaurant. Hey, thanks for hosting us. You guys, this place is second to the none. They've got big rooms. They've got little rooms. They got a nice pool. They got awesome locals. They got plenty of safe docks. And these reels, like that reel right there is $2,500. I left it on the boat last night. All of these reels, the LP, that LP up there's $8,000. Everybody leaves their stuff on the dock because this place is as safe as it gets. Yep. One thing I can tell you that is very, very important is Vita knows the importance of having good spear fishing guides, good fishing guides. So when you get here and you don't have somebody like Crystal and I came by ourselves, we couldn't really die by ourselves and we really didn't know where to go fishing besides the Seymour maps that we have. This is our third trip out and look what we got. That's pretty impressive. But this joker right here, I'm gonna show you how to clean them and we're gonna fry them whole. You can't kill them in America, but you can kill them here and that thing is amazing. Tastes like grouper. Yeah, they're good. So a funny story about these parrotfish is when I was young, we used to just go out and spearfish with a product license, young 16 year old kids, and we'd take them down to Riviera Beach and sell them. And a Haitian woman one time asked me if I could get her a parrotfish. I can't remember if it was legal or not. 
So don't quote me on that. But we got her some and she cooked one and I ate it and oh my Lord have mercy, it was good. <laughs> so tomorrow we're headed to a different island. This, I don't wanna leave here, but Crystal's never really seen much of the Bahamas. So we're gonna start traveling and go somewhere completely different. But the Boodle Bay Lodge, we pulled into this dock. As soon as you pull up, guys show up, they help you tie up the boat. They asked if you need somebody to fish with you. I said, yes, that's how Tristan ended up on the boat. You need ice, they have ice. You want food, they have food. Your boat needs to be clean. They got guys that will clean it and it's so affordable. Like come here, it's safe, it's, it's awesome. You guys look who it is. If you follow along and you saw all of our, our California videos, God, that's been a long time now, like six yeah, months. You know, my, my sheep's head's done now. Gray's just got <laughs> it done. I shot that huge California sheep's head. CJ's over here too. If you guys need to book a trip and want to plan anything, he's been here for a month running trips all over the Bahamas. He doesn't just stick here in West End. I'll have all of his information in the link below. He's knowledgeable. He knows all these hotels, all these locals from here all the way down to Staniel, which is like 250 miles. I just came out from taking a nap. We've been going at it hard for months. We came in from fishing, took a nap, and I walked out and heard his voice. I'm like, small world. His boat's parked right next to mine, and it wasn't there when I went to bed. All right, good seeing you, buddy. Thank hey, you. Buddy. Are you ready to eat? Yes. Is it ready? Not yet. It will oh, be ready on. soon. All right, so we're here at Boodle Bay's fish cleaning table. This is Tristan. This is our guide. He's been with us the last two and a half days and has made our life so easy. It's insane. He's cleaning the hogfish and the muttons, and we're actually going to cook a lot of this fish in the restaurant tonight, but the one for this video is right here. Wait till you see their meat. Their scales are huge. That is a big scale. Hold that in your palm of your hand. I think, I don't even want to say it yet, but I think this fish's meat's going to surprise you if I have a good memory. It's probably going to How long has it been since you ate one? Well, long I'm only time? 29, so it's been a good <laughs> 20 years. Let me see. Their scales are huge. We're gonna do a whole fried parrot fish. Jamaicans love them. Yeah. Golly, the scales, they're pretty though. Yeah, you can make earrings. They have blue. Took his gills completely out, took all of his guts out. Now all I'm gonna do is score them. And it's not, his meat's not what I remember. I don't know if it's a different kind, but their meat should be blue. That one's white, but I guarantee you it's gonna be good. And the next time you see this fish, it's gonna be on a dinner plate inside of that restaurant fried hole. Look That's how pretty sad. his face is though. Baby, looks just like he did when we speared him. I know, you can still see blue on him. So the story behind this, you guys wanna see her spear that monstrosity? <laughs> you guys, this is a turbot. This is probably one of the best fish in the ocean. It's a trigger fish. Look at his little teeth. They his white? little joker, as soon as I speared him, bit me. Why does your fish remind me of something I'll find in Nemo? <laughs> Holy Toledo. Um, look at this, though. They look bigger in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's super loud in here. This restaurant in Boodle Bay is so good, everybody comes here. You're going with the trigger fish? Mm -hmm. That fish right there is so good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Parrotfish and triggerfish. Nice. You've had them before? Parrotfish, I know. Parrotfish is good. Listen, that's good. All right, y'all, we'll see you in the morning. And just like that, we are done with the Bahamas. That makes video number three from our most recent trip over to Grand Bahama to the Boodle Bay Fishing Lodge. If you guys are interested in going, check out Boodle Bay. You will not be disappointed. What you excited about this morning? Going to pick up my mama. Your mama? Yo, I thought I was a mama's boy because I am. I'm the youngest of three brothers, but that right there is a mama's girl. She is super excited. Her mom lives in Kentucky and doesn't get to see her very often. She's coming today. We're picking her up and going straight back to our new hunting camp. 
And if you haven't been following along with all of our videos, check out my library. My last four videos are from the Bahamas, the trip that you just watched. And one in the middle of those three videos is our new camp video. We show you start to finish our whole process of going out there and getting this place started. You will enjoy it, I promise you. It's off the grid, it's beautiful, it's amazing, and it's everything I've worked so hard for. But right now, this video is ending. It's time to start a new one. I've got to upload it, put it on YouTube, head out the door to the airport, then head to E-Hall Junction. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, but like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.